Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Nikki from Spot Indulgences by Nikki. And today I'm going to begin my brand new series, What's My EO? Today we're going to be starting with Copeba. We're going to be talking about what it is, where it comes from, how it's distilled, briefly, and where you can find it in use in Young Living Essential Oil products, as well as the oil itself. So stay tuned. Copaiba essential oil is not just an oil, but it is an oleoresin, which is a semi-solid combination of extracted resin within the essential oil of the spice that it is removed from. To expel the oleoresin, the steam is implemented in order to get the most from the spice without compromising the properties of the capeva. A few examples of oleoresins are basil, paprika, cloves, sage, and as an orchid grower and fanatic like I am, this was a completely new thing to me, vanilla is also an oleoresin, as is turmeric. I had no idea. You learn something new every day. Copaiba itself is a tree from South America. It is a flowering tree of the legume family from the genus Copathera. And the fluid from which we obtain the oleoresin or exudate is usually light gold or brown in color and is most commonly used in varnishes or lacquers. Like most oleoresins, Copaiba is steam distilled. The essential oil from the distillation is light yellow in color and is very aromatic. Smells of balsam with a bitter or pungent taste. An individual tree, like maples, can be tapped, but these guys can yield about 40 liters per year, which makes it a high source of interest for biodiesel. And the fact that, like a maple, it does not need to be felled, but actually needs to remain alive to get its resin, makes it a very good renewable resource and healthy for the earth. Capeba has also been used in traditional and folk medicines. The Avisa tribe of Panama mixed this honey with the resin and they gave it to the newborns in hopes to impart knowledge, wisdom, and to protect the child from hexes. Since the 16th century, Copaiba has been used medicinally by the natives of North and Eastern Brazil. Their folk remedies were administered orally and oftentimes as an ointment. Copaiba resin was used in the treatment of many diseases. So back to the 21st century, okay? Brazilian medical literature has been documenting the beneficial uses of Copaiba resin. It has been shown to be an anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, anti-tetanus or lockjaw, antiseptic, and anti-hemorrhagic. Capaiba is frequently used in soap making, perfumes, and in fragrance oils. It has a natural fixative property. It helps the more volatile and delicate fragrance constituents or in the perfume oils from evaporating too quickly, leaving your perfume or fragrance oil scentless. It just becomes is. And it keeps it from doing this too quickly by equalizing vapor pressures. And in short, it provides protection to your perfume, soaps, and fragrance oils so they can stay delicious, smelling much longer than they would otherwise. It is commonly used in artist mediums such as oil paint and ceramic paints. Painters that prefer mineral paints many times use a mix of capeba 
turpentine, and lavender. It helps with adhesion, quality, and shine. Capeba makes up 95% of Brazil's oil resin industry. Annually, approximately 500 tons per year come out of the Amazon, making this stuff a great social and economic source of great significance. The demand for Copaiba has grown by leaps and bounds and has become widespread. It is being exported to several other countries, including the U.S., France, and Germany. Copaiba's usage, while widespread, has not been officially registered as a phytochemical drug. It is currently undergoing experimentation to make sure it is safe to use. So far, the testing on mice, which is not something I personally condone, however, it has shown that there is no genotoxic damaging to genetic information or mutagenic or changing of genetic material effects. So, so far, seems pretty safe. Capeba can be found in quite a few Young Living products, including the Breathe Again Roll-On. By combining four powerful varieties of eucalyptus essential oils, Breathe Again has a fresh aroma that is invigorating and awakening. It's also found in the Deep Relief Roll-On, which is perfect to bring along in your gym bag. It combines cool, invigorating smelling oils like wintergreen, peppermint that have such a refreshing aroma. It's great for the middle of a tough workout. And in Stress Away, it's perfect for on-the-go solution to combat the stresses that creep into everyday life. I like to use it in my diffuser in my bedroom. It helps to me to relieve the anxieties of the day, which I have an issue with. Um, so this oil makes it really convenient and easy to help me to relieve those. And with that relaxation, it allows me to sleep better. I combine it with orange, which can help to alleviate some of the pine tree smelling that can sometimes be a little overwhelming. I like to also blend it with some lemon and uh, lavender. I find that very helpful. Give it a shot. Young Living also carries the essential oil on its own in a 15 milliliter bottle, which is described on the youngliving.com website as a gum resin tapped from the copaiba tree in Brazil's. It is steam distilled to produce copaiba essential oil, which is known for its high levels of beta carophyllene, which, as I recently read, is similar to the beta carophyllene that is found in cannabis, but seems to be at a higher concentration. I don't know. I have to do more research on that and get back to you. This also has a bit of a sweet aroma. I think it smells a bit like cedar wood to me, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I can find that a little overpowering at times, so I like to tone it down a bit. And this is Earth Kosher certified, and it retails for $56.58. But if you are a member or are in the future going to become a member, you can get it for $43 even. I hope you found this hybrid interesting, slightly amusing, but most importantly, informative. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, for topics, anything like that, please leave me a comment down below or shoot me an email. I will have all of my links, including my Young Living referral link, as well as the products linkage that I mentioned right in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with all your friends. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, everyone. Mwah.